So the original game was, of course, done in 1993, and it was fairly low res. I think the screen resolution was something like 360 pixels by, you know, 700 and some pixels. So we're rebuilding the game completely from the ground up. There's all new backgrounds in high res, retina resolution. The music has been completely redone from scratch with, of course the original game was MIDI, and now the game has music that is completely orchestrated and um, up to modern standards. We have all new voices in the game and new puzzles as well. When I first pitched the Gabriel Knight concept to Sierra, uh, I think really Ken Williams didn't know what to make of it. He specifically told me, well, I wish you had come up with something funny, but if this is what you really want to do, then I'll let you do it, but I don't think it's going to work. So it was actually kind of a crisis of faith for me because I, I started having self-doubts, like, am I wrong? Is this going to be a big flop? And it was sort of my one chance to design a game for Sierra. But, you know, it was the kind of thing that I love, and I, I really believe in that in general as a creative, is that you need to follow your passion, and, you know, you're going to write best if you write something that you really love and that you would want to consume, and you just have to let the chips fall where they may. So we hear that Gabriel Knight is coming out, and I love Gabriel Knight because I grew up in New England. And in New England, we always heard the stories of Salem, Massachusetts, and the witches burning at the stake. And there's a lot of older architecture for the United States that's older. So you had these creepy images of, you know, sort of Ichabod Crane-like landscape, mysticism, witchcraft, and all that, that creepy stuff. So the remake of Gabriel Knight coming out, I really look forward to seeing that. But it raises the question, why is there this resurgence in classic and retro gaming. A lot of people have a lot of different opinions of it. For myself, my opinion is, is that what's happening today is that we've reached a point where we're seeing great graphics, we're seeing photorealistic images. And for the longest time in video games, we were chasing the, the performance of, of chips. So if a chip could do bump mapping, that was a very important thing for a new game to be made. And I think it's because we're getting past the, the need to show off these chips and mobile has brought us back to a certain simplicity that we accept. Uh, we can look at a 2D game and we're not judging it because it's not 3D today. And so that brings us back to the pure engagement factor of what constitutes a good game. And the fact is in the early days, and especially if we go back before the Gabriel Knights, you know, back to the arcade games, they were built on killer chemistries of, of tight simplicity that could ramp up and you could ultimately beat your highest score 20 years later of Asteroids or of Robotron or of these games that were, were simple but deep, incredibly deep. So as we've gone through the ages of going through these cycles of chasing graphics power, chasing, new, uh, chasing 3D when it was new back at the beginning of the PlayStation era, we're now returning to, well, what constitutes, if this was film, we'd say, what constitutes the good script? So we can do plenty of special effects, but we've got to get back to that story and the characters. And that's where I think this resurgence is coming from. We see it from Double Fine. Uh, we see it across the board in various ways. And some people are doing it better than others. But on Gabriel Knight, we hope to see it done great. And we look forward to it.